Who can resist the temptation of opening the family tree overnight? The man clearly awakened the fragile mark of emptiness, destined to never awaken any skills in his life. Yet he pressed the top tier hunter, who could stand on the world's ceiling, into the ground rubbing him. He merely waved the toothpick in his hand, and turned the bully who had tormented him for three years, into tofu chunks. A single document can destroy a city, coming from Jimmo. He has also been specially recruited into the strongest awakened prophecy squad. This is because he houses the shadows of 106 original awakeners within him, and each one of them is coveting his body. Who says Kong Nai is an extraordinary monster hidden away? The 106 originals only used their skills once. Konai mastered it at a glance. A hundred years ago, the Tower of Demons descended. Countless demons poured out from the tower, and humanity was on the brink of extinction. At the same time, the first generation of Awakened emerged. Humanity defeated the invasion from another dimension. To commemorate them, they were honored with the title of pioneers. Cast any spell without incantations. Soar masters who could wipe out an army with a single branch. Now he has awakened. He also wants to be like them. To leave his name in the annals of history. But unfortunately, Lu Ji failed for the third time, in contrast to others who are cheering for passing the qualification exam. His classmates even see him as a disgrace to the awakened. They make him stay behind and clean up the trash. Just when Kanye was feeling wrong to the point of tears, a boy came over and called him. He said his old friend was filming a documentary and was waiting for him. How could Kanye possibly forget the bully's care? Friend, haha. But Kanye still couldn't resist going to the film company and suggested that the golden retriever use his dragon slaying picture as the cover. The blonde promised him that he'd apply to the Hunter Association to give him a chance for a retake, so Connor had no choice but to cooperate. As for the money-snatching ritual, the blonde twisted it around, saying it was to help struggling students. After filming the scene, the blonde reminded him not to forget the next thing. Filming at the Hero Memorial, Connor thought his smile looked eerie. Having no choice, he still went. But as soon as he arrived, he witnessed a shocking scene. He saw two of the blonde guy's companions destroying the hero statues. Connor was furious. These scumbags. He actually did something so outrageous. Without saying a word, he swung his fist and charged at the golden-haired guy. The gap in strength caused him to take a kick from the golden-haired guy. A mouthful of fresh blood gushed out. He felt his organs violently shaking. Then he collapsed. His whole body curled up. Meanwhile, the blonde's companion has already taken the treasure from beneath the memorial. The bag is filled with all kinds of magical crystals and weapons. The blonde excitedly picks up something that looks like a dragon's eye. This thing can actually glow. In the next moment, the golden retriever lifted his collar and said that letting him come means letting him take the blame. A reader obsessed with the original Awakener failed the hunter's assessment again. Feeling disheartened, he decided to steal the treasures from the museum. The next day, he disappeared without a trace. What a perfect plan. Then they took him to the rooftop. They pushed him right off. Kong Nai was unwilling. Was he really going to die like this? Then he fell into the water. Suddenly, he saw many golden orbs of light. Then each orb of light turned into a golden humanoid figure. It turns out they are the spirits of the original Awakeners. They represent the pinnacle of various fields. At the same time, the mark on the back of his hand began to glow. It was unexpectedly the rare void. The mark of nothingness is also known as the curse mark. Because even if he awakens, he will not awaken any skills. But there are no absolutes. This mark also represents that he can use any skill, one of the heroic souls said. Kong Nai can choose one of them to inherit. No matter who he chooses, he will gain immense power. But only children make choices. He wants them all. He wants to erase all the humiliation he has suffered in the past. Just when the spirits thought he was talking nonsense, the next second, the void mark on the back of his hand began to glow brilliantly. All the restless souls surged into his void mark. This must be the world's poison powder. At the same time, grave robbing. A few people from the Golden Retriever team, who were planning to kill in silence, were about to leave. Suddenly, a towering water column erupted from the lake behind them. The next second, Kong Nai landed steadily in front of them. He looked at them with cold eyes. Then he picked up a branch from the ground and started trimming it. The few of them were not scared at all. They mocked him, wondering if he thought he could take revenge with just a branch. Connie didn't say a word. She just gently waved the branch in her hand. The golden-haired man instructed another to quickly deal with Connie. That person hurriedly drew a sword to him. Getting rid of Connie was a piece of cake. He swung the sword directly at her. However, Connie did not move. The two brushed past each other in an instant. In the next moment, the blonde guy widened his eyes. Countless sword energies exploded around him. The two golden-haired people were left dumbfounded. They couldn't believe such a result. Was he that weak? Who's next? The fat guy charged forward. He quickly unleashed a magical attack. And Connor directly extended a finger. A dazzling light gathered at his fingertip. In the next second... A golden light slammed into the fat guy, until the light dissipated. The fat guy was already lying on the ground, motionless. The golden-haired one felt his worldview collapse. But wasn't that just a legend from books? Yet it was now truly right in front of him. However, 
What he didn't know was that the souls of 106 original awakeners were now residing within Kungai. In this world, what goes around comes around. Everything you did to me before, today you're paying it all back. At this moment, Connor feels his body filled with power, and the heroes he admires are now inside his void mark. Judging by their looks, they seem quite satisfied with the space inside the mark. But it seems like everyone wants to take over his body. The one who spoke first was the swordsman who defeated an army of 10,000 with a single strike. Didn't expect anyone to still remember me. Kid, what do you plan to do? Connor thought he was talking about the golden-haired guy. But in front of the swordsman, the golden-haired guy was just trash. He was talking about something behind the golden-haired guy. Only then did Connor notice. The treasure bag behind Golden Hair was emitting a strange purple light. Connor slowly approached Golden Hair. Golden Hair thought Connor was going to harm him. He urgently summoned his weapon. Connor didn't even look and threw a punch. Golden Hair spun like a top, flying 800 meters away, rolling off to the side. At this moment, Kong Nai's attention was completely on the bag behind him. Purple black mist was continuously pouring out from the bag. In the next second, a massive energy burst forth from it. The surrounding space was instantly filled with thunder and lightning. A gigantic black octopus appeared. It was radiating an aura of evil. The golden retriever that got knocked away was stunned. Why did the octopus run out of the bag? A terrifying octopus. The swordsman told him, this is a boss from the Tower of Demons. They were sealed in the memorial hall. Now that kid has released them. Some demons survived by hiding and going into dormancy. And this guy is the embodiment of nothingness. Nicknamed the Black Sphere Octopus. Super dangerous, S-rank. A walking disaster. He constantly emits toxic gas. It can kill everyone within several kilometers. In the era of swordsmen, such a demon was as common as cabbage. But in this era, it is very deadly. The golden retriever was so scared that it turned and ran. It didn't want to die here. But in the next second, the countless. Eyes of the black octopus turned sharply towards the golden retriever. A tentacle instantly shot out and grabbed the golden retriever's chest. It was only a matter of seconds. Golden Hair's face was covered with countless tiny tentacles. As his life force kept slipping away, Golden Hair let out a scream. Unfortunately, Golden Hair didn't know. The black octopus was only interested in moving things. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been sucked dry. The swordsman stepped forward and grabbed him tightly. Give me your body. You're no match for him right now. Kong Nai said he could lend them his body, but he had one condition. He wants to know just how strong they really are. And sooner or later, he'll surpass them all. Since he didn't move, the black octopus didn't move either. The first to step up was the swordsman. He let out a loud roar, and countless sword auras burst forth. The tentacles of the black octopus were sliced into countless pieces. The branch in his hand broke into two pieces. The monster wasn't easy prey either. It instantly launched a counterattack. But what followed was a one-sided slaughter. After the swordsman... A master of palm strikes stepped in. The black octopus was left dazed. Who is this mythical beast? First, he used a sword. Now it's the palm technique again. Didn't they say humans can only master one skill? After the palm technique, it changes again. Now it's using the staff technique. The black octopus has had another tentacle cut off. Then it switches to an old man with a white beard. A Mediterranean old man. The black octopus has caught a tentacle. He slammed it down hard. After the tentacle was smashed. It was launched into the air. The souls immediately switched to archers. The black octopus was in big trouble. After being hit, it started leaking. Green liquid splattered all over its face. For the heavily injured black octopus, 106 heroic souls took turns to attack. Even the fire-breathing baby has shown up. But the black octopus is exceptionally resilient. It is still fighting desperately. Kong Nai's sword has even been broken. Then the magician also appeared. He unleashed his strongest move, was Zen. Kong Nai jumped into the air. He switched back to the swordsman and displayed an earth-shattering sword strike. The black octopus was split in half under the relentless attacks of all the vengeful spirits. Kong Nai finally defeated the monster. At the same time the black octopus appeared. A three-headed hellhound also appeared in the city center. Meanwhile, a white-collar worker appeared before him. This immediately piqued the interest of the three-headed hellhound. He insisted on having a man check if he had cavities. At a critical moment, a man with a clenched fist appeared. He threw a punch like lightning. The hellhound's body instantly sank down by a meter. He almost knocked his thoughts out. Unfortunately, the three-headed hellhound couldn't take the hit. Instantly killed, and the man's face was revealed. It turned out to be S-rank hunter February. The battle footage of Kanai was recorded the entire time by a crow. Even more surprisingly, the crow turned out to be a man's pet. At the man's feet lay a mountain of monster corpses. The person on the phone told him that the three-headed hellhound and the black octopus had been slain. The man became interested upon hearing this. He really wanted to see who did it, and he was currently the world's strongest awakened being green. The next day, the students were all discussing the appearance of the monster from yesterday. Some people say that he is the one who defeated the monster. The classmate next to him feels like his IQ has been scraped along the ground. Meanwhile, the real protagonist is shaking in the corner while cleaning. Kong Nai really wants to say that he is the one who killed the Super S-Class monster, but he knows no one would believe him. After all, 
There hasn't been a new S-rank awakener in ten years. In others' eyes, he was nothing but complete trash. Just then, a muscular man with a sword bumped into him. As expected, Connor was knocked to the ground. The muscular man's voice reached his ears. Such a loser. It's impossible for him to be an S-rank awakened. At this moment, the swordsman appeared. With that frail body of yours, you think you can surpass us? Where did all that arrogance from yesterday go? The swordsman then sensed the aura of the entire academy and remarked that the awakened of this era are too weak. They're just equivalent to ordinary people of their time. If the Tower of Demons appears again, they will have no power to resist. The only thing awaiting them is destruction. At the same time, the swordsman sensed a powerful aura in the crowd. He didn't expect that in this era. To meet someone like this, it seems they're not completely useless after all. Just as Connor was deep in thought, a teacher ran over, telling him to hurry to the gym for the makeup test. Connor was quite surprised, but others found it even more unbelievable. Everyone was eager to see if he could pull off a comeback. The first test is the 100-meter sprint. The average time is 3.6 seconds. The historical record is 2.7 seconds. As soon as the teacher's gun went off, Kong Nai instantly dashed to the finish line. He broke the historical record with a time of 1.2 seconds. Everyone had a look of disbelief. They couldn't accept this result. The second test is a 3-kilometer run. The average time is 4 minutes and 20 seconds. The historical record is 3 minutes minutes. It is 7 seconds. And Connery once again broke the record with a time of 1 minute and 7 seconds. Next is the average number of push-ups in 2 minutes. 215. The historical record is 418. And Connery once again broke the record with 840. Next is the average barbell weight of 400 kilograms. The record is 620 kilograms. Conan's result is 1280 kilograms. The students watching were so shocked they couldn't speak. Is this really the same underachiever Conan? Not just them. Even Conan himself was shocked. Could it be the power of the heroic souls? The swordsman told him that after yesterday's battle, his body had already been transformed. Meanwhile, the strongest awakened one, Greenlight, is in the principal's office, reviewing Connor's personal file. The reason Connor got a chance for a retest, it actually means green light. The principal does not understand green light's actions at all. He doesn't know what tricks he has up his sleeve. Green light just smiled lightly because he was about to personally assess Kanai. It turns out that my request for a retake was approved thanks to the help of Mr. Member. After seeing these results, it completely caught him off guard because in these three years, I have hardly used magic at all. Finally, it has come to the last test, the magic test. Using magic to spin, these huge fans within 30 seconds. Behind me, countless onlooking students have already gathered. I can't feel the magic at all, let alone control those blades. But now I can feel the magic flowing in every corner of my body, and I can also accelerate its circulation through my breathing. The blades start to turn slowly under our control. Within just 1.2 seconds, the fan blades spun at an astonishing speed. The rotation accelerated even more. It was like a violent hurricane. The scene descended into chaos. In the next moment, the massive fan exploded. The rapidly spinning blades flew toward the office building. Everyone was terrified and scattered in all directions. Then there was another explosion. Just when Shan Yu was one centimeter away from the principal, he stopped. The principal was so scared that his diaper was soaked. But the senator burst into laughter. Instead, he praised me, saying I would be the second historical figure after him. Everyone at the exam site was still shaken, and the examiner was in shock. They let me pass the exam directly. The cheers behind me were deafening. After three years of being useless, I finally gained everyone's recognition, but only the swordsmen knew that after I lent them my body, my inner potential was unleashed. To them, I wasn't just an ordinary person with a void attribute. It was the person they'd been waiting for a century. Suddenly, a surge of energy descended from the sky. It was the same energy the swordsman just sensed. After the dust settled, the counselor appeared before us. I was completely shocked by the scene. Why did the world's strongest awakened being show up here? When he was nine years old, he was already a mature hunter. He even single-handedly quelled the chaos across the land. To think that such a big figure would actually shake hands with me and ask for an additional test, try to hit me. This was completely unexpected for me. I couldn't help but show a look of disbelief. But the swordsman behind was unusually excited. Lend me your body. Then the counselor explained the rules. Touch him once within a minute to win. Even if you lose, there will be no punishment. And he will attack every 10 seconds. Then he took out the weapons he had collected. I can choose any of those weapons to use. But even so, I still doubt whether I can touch him within a minute. The congressman. The senator is exceptionally confident in his physical strength. With just a light swipe of his finger, the blade before me splits in two. I watched this scene instantly breaking into a cold sweat. After the swordsman saw the hospital's display of strength, a look of dusk appeared on his face. He urged me to quickly hand over my body to him. But I didn't want to miss this opportunity. I decided to prove myself using only my own strength. Just as his countdown began, 
I grabbed a sword at random and charged forward. If I want to become a legend, I can't borrow the power of the soul of the first awakened. But when faced with my full force strike, Yuan easily dodged it with just a sidestep. He was even browsing media on his phone, looking completely at ease. My attack was entirely ineffective, like a child's play in front of him. Even when I switched from vertical to horizontal slashes, I couldn't hit him. It was as if he could predict my every move. At the same time, I realized my body could move freely as I wished. After he lent his body to the first awakener, he became stronger. Suddenly, his fingers lightly touched his forehead. Right after that, a powerful energy burst out suddenly. A prominent deep trench is drawn directly on the ground. If I don't dodge in time, I'll be hit. With my current strength, I can't resist it at all. Destiny. I looked at my hands with some confusion. He can't feel any fluctuations of power from me. Yet I dodged his attack. But I know. If this continues, I will be killed. I must find the feeling I had when I killed the monster last night. That powerful version of myself. My transformation startled Inuan. The speed of my sword swings became faster and faster. His expression also grew serious. He could sense the change in the speed of my sword swings. Yet even so, I still couldn't touch him. If I want to hit him now. My body must be faster. At this moment, the second ten seconds are up. I saw Inuan bend down to dodge. At the same time, his left hand quickly extended a snap. In the next second, a powerful energy burst forth. In an instant, he flew dozens of meters. He only stopped after crashing into the teaching building. A military formation appeared behind the wall. Even so, I am still incredibly excited. Because I am fighting against the strongest awakeners in the world. If it were before. I would have undoubtedly died from this strike. Now I can prove that I am getting stronger and stronger. But at this moment, the councilman looks very disappointed. I am very sorry. I've seen enough. As soon as he finished speaking, he used his hand like a knife. Before I could react, he suddenly struck down. The next second, I was on the ground. In his eyes, though I displayed genius level abilities, it wasn't enough to reach the level of becoming comrades. In the end, I still didn't see the immense power. From that night, after speaking, he picked up the phone and left. Suddenly, his gaze focused. He felt a powerful wave of energy behind him. The energy within me surged skyward. The strongest cheat is activated, and I'm possessed by a spirit. Let's play a little longer. At that moment, Yuan was ecstatic. He felt the power from that night. With a single slash of my sword, Yuan dodged so fast that after images appeared, he was startled. My speed and strength were worlds apart from before. While he was momentarily stunned, the sharp blade was already inches from his eyes. At the last moment, he sidestepped to dodge. Then came a precise slash. He didn't expect my speed to be so fast. A moment's carelessness and he'd be struck down. I furrowed my brow, gripped the sword tightly, then swung it fiercely. The building in front was cut in half. He quickly ducked to dodge. The students inside the school building could only flee in panic. He sensed the change in my swordsmanship, clearly able to predict his moves, just like ancient swordsmanship, like a rushing torrent shaped like a sword. The senator slashed with his hand around the blade, but I dodged excitedly. That force. I swung my sword once more. The sword senator was equally excited. It's rare to encounter such a powerful opponent. This scene left everyone present in shock. The senator could only defend passively. But I was getting more and more excited. Because his recent actions. Angered the swordsman within me. Now it's reaching a nearly frenzied state. The counselor could only step back repeatedly. But did not show any signs of panic. Instead. He appeared unusually excited. He stepped on a small stone at his feet. A tiny stone instantly sent the piled up weapons flying. One of the fighters leaped up and grabbed a large blade. Both sides were already on the verge of conflict. It no longer feels like a simple test. The sword strike cuts through the weapon. Both of them seem incredibly excited. They've encountered a rare opponent. The soul swordsman within is especially thrilled. After a thousand years of slumber, it can finally be unleashed. It suggests summoning other heroic souls. Watching the scene unfold in the outside world, everyone wants to join the battle. But in their eyes, my body is not a perfect vessel. Yet I am fixated on the fight. The various techniques displayed by the swordsman. I keep drawing them in my mind. Suddenly, the clash of swords results in a break. The swordsman looks at the broken sword in despair. The swordsman's level can't be displayed if he doesn't show up. The counselor, however, acts as if it's of no importance. He only wants to know what the swordsman will do next. The swordsman glanced at the student behind him. Then he leaped into the air. He jumped in front of the performer and drew his weapon. The counselor followed closely behind. With a punch, he smashed forward. A powerful force exploded in an instant. The swordsman leaped out of the dust. But Yi Yuan's attack followed immediately. He jumped onto the fan blade that was just tested. His fingers gripped the fan blade tightly. The fan blade suddenly gained strength. He lifted the fan blade and slammed it at the swordsman. At that moment, Yi Yuan noticed the sword. The transformation of the guest sword. From a two-handed sword to a one-handed sword. Then, a grid of blades appeared. Smooth cracks suddenly appeared on the fan blades in his hand. The next second, 
they turned into neat squares. This is the one-handed sword technique of the swordsman. Yuan seemed even more excited about this, as if fully confident in his own strength. Just as the swordsman was thinking of charging forward, the sword in his hand suddenly shattered into several pieces. The swordsman didn't even see the opponent's movements clearly. With one swift motion, the opponent struck down like a knife. Faced with his attack, the swordsman had no way to evade. I quickly replaced his soul to take over the body, and I could clearly see the opponent's attack trajectory. I deftly changed the direction of the guard. I actually managed to dodge the attack. This moment stunned both the fighter and the spirit. Meanwhile, my right hand, unable to withstand the immense power, began to twist. I could only clench my other hand into a fist and swing it forward with all my might. Just when I thought I could land a hit within 60 seconds, it didn't turn out that way. He grabbed my wrist in a strange manner. My fist was inches away, yet I couldn't move it forward, but he slightly smiled, pressing my fist against his cheek. He had a subtle smirk on his lips and let my fist touch his cheek. Then, with a beaming smile, he congratulated you. You passed the test. After saying that, he fell from the sky. Thus, the hunter exam came to an end. The secretary of the counselor flashed to his side. Under his treatment, my arm surprisingly returned to normal. At the same time, under his reminder, during the test, I actually came into contact with the strongest awakened counselor. Although he intentionally let me win in the end, it still showed that he acknowledged my strength. He never expected that under my relentless attacks, he would get serious. I even dodged his strongest strike. He was very satisfied with my recent performance, but I was completely confused. Why did we need to take a one-minute test? What should we do next after passing the test? Yuan was visibly stunned. Turns out I didn't even understand what was said before the test. That night I went back home. Since my father passed away, it's just been me and my mother. Looking at the card from the hospital, I couldn't help but think of what he said today. Who is our real enemy? Because the school was noisy and crowded. He didn't explain in detail. We had to wait until tonight at my place for a full explanation. However, the Tower of Demons had already been destroyed by the founder. Now, the hunter's mission. Hunting the monsters that came out of the rift. Are there any other reasons at present? Just as I was lost in thought, I entered a magical space. The sudden appearance of the swordsman's mist slash startled me. I don't understand why my soul was suddenly summoned into it, and all the other spirits were watching me. The swordsman said the discussion just now has come to a conclusion. Hearing this, I thought they were going to take my body. Just as the swordsman was about to continue speaking, a commotion came from the outside world. Something unusual happened in the dark room. My mother actually collapsed on the floor. A figure was sitting at the dining table. He ate with great satisfaction. The kitchen was a complete mess, completely ignoring my distress. I frowned. What exactly did you do to my mother? And what I didn't expect was, he turned out to be an S-rank hunter, a colleague of the senator. Now let me grab my luggage and follow him. However, I was extremely angry. Without hesitation, I threw a punch. Just as I made contact, he surprisingly dodged. Then he quickly moved behind me. I saw him grin and say, Are you challenging me? But I kept my face gloomy. My mother is still lying outside. My face was full of rage. What did you do to my mother? The soul of the magical space looked at this scene with great anger, hoping to get a clear answer from this battle. Let us founders give him a proper welcome. At this moment, my face darkened as I glared at the man before me. Yet, he continued to provoke arrogantly. He thought I was just a cute little thing in front of him, but then he swung his hand at me like a blade. I casually caught the incoming hand strike. With a quick twist, I flipped him to the ground. This sudden counterattack caught him off guard, but it was the elder within him who was truly shocked, because this move was unexpected. I only used it once before during possession, but now I can perform it so easily. With just one kick, I sent the opponent flying. The powerful impact shattered the wall. But due to the level difference, it didn't cause any fatal damage. The opponent flipped and landed steadily, but I couldn't help feeling surprised. The intelligence provided was incorrect. He is clearly skilled in swordsmanship during the fight with the congressman. Yet now he is actually using Aikido. I looked at him with anger on my face. What exactly did you do to my mother? He just smiled lewdly. Because I found him somewhat troublesome. I used some poison to put him to sleep. If you're unlucky, you might have lasting effects. And I still thought he was truly a friend of Yuan. I questioned him asking why he'd harm one of his own. He laughed as if he'd heard a joke. The next second, he was behind me in a flash. Are you an idiot? But I anticipated his move. I leaped and dodged the attack. It turned out, his intent was only to take me hostage, using me as leverage to force a marriage. Facing a series of attacks, I quickly sidestepped to evade. After several failed attempts, he actually stepped on my foot. Before I could move away, I failed to dodge. He left a scratch on my face. 
the poison quickly spread across my face. His goal had been achieved. As long as you're injured, the poison will seep through your whole body. I didn't expect him to be a poison master. He can synthesize thousands of toxins in his body. The poison I cultivated is called illusion insect venom. It can spread throughout the body within a minute. The gas produced can kill all living beings within a 5 kilometer radius. The only antidote is to join their organization. I then asked the apothecary king Valantin if he could create an antidote. Valantin was a bit taken aback, but I still gave an affirmative answer. The other other party thought I would be consumed by fear. After receiving the response from the king of medicine, I no longer had any reservations. I remember the deeds of all the founders. The divine hand cuts through the heavens with a mighty force. The annihilation of the azure spear. Koki, the lord of the heavens. At this moment, Mal no longer felt any fear in his heart. Seeing this, the other party couldn't help but become furious. Without hesitation, they charged at me. They were determined to make me die in the agony of poisoning. I quickly sidestepped to avoid them. The originally dense trees behind me instantly turned into withered ones. An attack filled with concentrated venom came at me again. I took a lateral step to dodge. Then, he charged up and delivered a powerful strike. The opponent took the hit solidly. It left a mark like 1982 ketchup. What he used was round 2-0's Muay Thai. The opponent flew back two and a half meters. Then, he executed Ireland's light horn. The opponent left two cracks on the ground. Only then did he stop. But my attack wasn't over yet. I saw the opponent clasp their hands together, and I skillfully slipped through them striking their body with lightning speed. Then came a dragon claw strike. Both hands grabbed tight, uprooting them completely. In the next second, I hurled them into the air. One move after another, relentless. Finally using the mage's truth magic. A surge of energy shot up from within my body. The souls inside looked at this scene in disbelief. They never imagined. Just possessing my body once. I would actually learn all their techniques. Swordsman Li Gui was extremely excited. If they trained me. Then it will cultivate an unprecedented monster. Several men in black appear in the sky above the city. Their mission is to ensure that before the arrival of Yuan, I am kept under control. However, before he finished speaking, reinforcements had already appeared behind him. He squinted his eyes. With a flick of a finger, a surge of energy shot downward. The opponent instantly collapsed to the ground. In an instant, all the awakened ones present were cleared out. Under the perception of Zero, there was no trace of awakened beings around. But what Zero saw left one Yuan stunned. I think we arrived too late. Someone has already beaten me to it. The S-rank hunter, Poison Corpse Ashbone, was knocked to the ground. Even Yuan didn't expect it. I actually managed to defeat an S-rank hunter. He praised my strength highly. After that, he finally showed concern about my poisoning, and with Valantin's help, easily obtained the serum. After he attached himself to me, it was like he became a completely different person. This strange behavior might be a common flaw among pharmacists, because the video from earlier leaked. A lot of organizations are now targeting me, and the man in front of me is pretending to be a friend from the hospital. At this moment, Ling suddenly appeared beside me. The once ruined house was restored to its original state. Healing magic can not only heal people, I never thought it could also restore objects. As for my future plan, in the eyes of the counselors, I have extraordinary talent, so they want me to join their team. Hearing this, I was extremely excited, but my mother looked extremely worried. She knew that being a hunter was a dangerous profession. She didn't want her son to be in danger every day, but she also knew me the best. I had admired the ancestral awakeners since I was young. Even when bullied, that never changed. The counselor stated that I would be trained to become the strongest awakened one, with power comparable to that of the ancestors. Immediately, the three of us went to a mysterious dwelling in the deep mountains, affiliated with the national agency, accessible only to a few awakened ones. This group of people is referred to as the Prophecy Troops, commonly known as the Prophecy. At this moment, there are five people in the room discussing. Those who can come here are all exceptionally powerful. Each of them is untamed. Before this, it must be confirmed whether they have the strength to enter the Prophecy Troops. I felt a chill in the air. After getting out of the car, a figure fell from the sky. I quickly raised my hands to block, but a large pit still appeared on the ground beneath me. He didn't expect that I could take his strike, and I also felt his immense power. Then he just executed a carp leap. After landing steadily, he introduced himself. His name is Yentaro. He's a member of the Prophecy Unit, joined the same time as me. At that moment, a member was already on the side preparing tea. Sure enough, Yentaro started off with a spinning kick. I barely managed to fall down, struggling hard. In contrast, he was clearly at ease. His attacks were as dense as raindrops. He leaped up again for another spinning kick, and I could only cross my hands and brace myself desperately. In an instant, I flew out and managed to cushion some of the impact. And Yen Tailang began to talk about the origins of the prophecy team. The purpose of hunters is to hunt the beasts that emerge from the rifts. However, there are disasters beyond that, which are even more severe in comparison. The invasion of the 10,000 Demons Palace 10 years ago. The great catastrophe of the Nine Provinces 5 years ago. A large-scale interdimensional rift appeared. These are all known to the world. 
But in fact, they are not what people think. This is an act of invasion by the Yuan. The demon tower appeared 300 years ago, brought about a super disaster. However, the invasion has not ended. Who exactly is watching this world in another dimension? Compared to the Awakeners of the Tower Era, now the strength of the Awakeners is 1 in 10. Few possess the power of their ancestors. Let the Awakeners with foresight and prophetic skills identify the location of the disaster. Then select elite individuals eager to fight back. This is how the prophecy unit came to be. This information has exceeded my understanding. As for my ability to withstand his continuous attacks, I am the first among my contemporaries. Because the opponent recognized my strength. At this moment, the few people on the rooftop watched us from below. But in the blink of an eye, they gradually vanished, Yen Taro said helplessly. They only acknowledged my strength after they fought me themselves. At night, in the dormitory, I pondered over Yen Taro's message. The tower era is not over. Disasters can strike at any time. Can I really fight when faced with disaster? Suddenly, Li Gui and the others appeared, and I thought they were arguing again over who gets to take over my body. Li Gui had a serious expression, saying they wanted to recruit me as a disciple of all ancestors. They will train me to become the strongest awakener in history. Instead of killing each other to compete for my body, it's better to shape me into the person they want. Especially after seeing me fight in Silicon Valley, I can mimic the skills they used before. Although the power didn't meet expectations, but the form is starting to take shape. Perhaps they thought it was because of the Void Scripture, the ability to absorb skills and make them your own. This ability is stronger than any of the progenitors. But when I heard Ligui's words, I started crying. Although I had awakened the magic scripture earlier, I had never shown any talent from start to finish. No one ever had any hope for me. I have suffered from bullying at school. I never passed the hunter exam. No one even remembers my name. Now I've received the strongest awakening. Mr. Counselor acknowledges me. I possess the strongest talent in history. I've gained the favor of the ancestor I admire. My life has changed drastically. Gui revealed their plan. In the void space, they can freely manipulate time and space. At that time, they will undergo 100 hours of training every day. During the day, dealing with situations like the prophecy team. And at night, they will all undergo their own training. The next morning, I ran into Yeni Long while washing up. He sensed something different about me. In an instant I kicked out, but I seemed to casually lower my head to dodge it. Ichiro looked at me in disbelief. His kicking speed was clearly faster than the day before, yet I managed to evade it. Then the two of us went to the cafeteria, but the girl in front of me didn't seem friendly. She was the girl from the rooftop yesterday, a member of the observation team. In his view, my welcome ceremony as a newcomer is not over yet. Even introducing myself to the other party is not recognized by them. To earn his recognition, I must go with him to destroy the next prophecy. The original book of prophecies was in 1945. Three kilometers deep in the Antarctic continent was discovered by an explorer named Barnard. The book of prophecies prophecies became the Book of Doom. At first, he did not believe it could predict the future, but when he opened the pages, he was shocked. On the pages, it clearly stated the time he discovered the Book of Doom. The book recorded various disasters over the next 80 years. It even recorded disasters that could cause the destruction of the world. The number of occurrences reached as many as 200. As the prophecy unit, they successfully prevented 180 disasters. That would have destroyed the world. World War III attack from the side along with reinforcements, the cosmic tomb, and the recent invasion by the legion of demons stopped by Mr. Yuan. Each one was a super crisis level event. All were handled by outstanding awakened ones from around the world. Meanwhile, the prophecy unit collected and analyzed various disasters. They classified the disasters into four levels. Level 3 means one or more cities destroyed. Level 2 is a nationwide scale disaster. Level 1 signifies global environmental changes, while super level is defined as world class destruction, and their mission is to prevent the disaster. As for the arrival of the three of them, the guards present showed displeasure on their faces, telling them to leave immediately. However, the girl accurately described the situation of the fissure and predicted it was a level 3 event. The dimensional rift is of medium scale. According to the records from the Yellow Cheese chapter, the rift will continue to expand. No sooner had the words been spoken than cracks around the rift began to spread. In the next second, monsters surged forth. Their level is at least this high. Seeing this, the uncle quickly threw a punch, but they could only struggle to cope with the monsters before them. However, the other members were not optimistic. Worse still, the terrifying sense of oppression coming from the rift. The girl waved her hand with one motion. The skill activated. The supreme alchemy changed the moment it touched the ground. It unexpectedly transformed. A weapon formed by countless drops of mercury appeared out of thin air. A mercury spear descended from the sky. It instantly pierced through the monster. At the same time, Bieni Long launched his flow step. He darted and kicked through the group of monsters. The man stared in disbelief at the scene before him. Only then did he realize we were far from ordinary. At this moment, a crimson eye appears in the center of the crack. The beast tribe, 
Shilai Renace rushes in. Seeing this, both of their skills launch a barrage of attacks simultaneously, hitting the target accurately. But beneath Yenikairo's feet, something feels off. The attack at our feet can't advance an inch. Even the Mercury Spear was broken piece by piece. I never expected. The creature in front of me would have physical resistance. I watched as the monster charged toward the girl. She quickly gathered Mercury, forming a shield in front of her. In the nick of time, I stood in front of her. With one hand, he blocked the monster's sudden attack. Then, he gathered all his strength into his hand. In an instant, he unleashed a powerful blast. The immense force caused the ground to crack. The monster was instantly reduced to ashes. Everyone showed expressions of disbelief. With just one strike, he killed an S-class monster. Yenilong was so shocked, his jaw dropped. The discomfort I felt this morning wasn't just my imagination. And this strike also caught me off guard. After just one night of basic training, the improvement is so noticeable. However, this is just the most basic technique, Guanji. Although the opponent has physical resistance, it can be utilized from the inside out with Neijing. I didn't expect such overwhelming power to explode from within. Then he looked at the girl behind him. Please tell me your name. The girl also acknowledged me. She said her name was Xiao Gongxi. At that moment, the two of them also grasped a quicker way to defeat each other. They attacked from within the body using infiltration. Moments later, the membrane substance outside the crack has been cleared. The two then invited me into the rift space. This really scared the man next to us. Even more surprising, I rushed over without hesitation. I followed closely behind them into the crack. Seeing this, the man was left standing there in shock. He also guessed our identities, the rumored secret organization. This was my first time entering the rift, and inside... There was a passage. A horde of monsters appeared before us. I saw Xiao Gongxi summon the Mercury Spear. The confined space actually gave him an advantage. Xiao Gongxi's area attack. We could crush our competitors from the same period. Suddenly, a giant bear appeared, roaring wildly. The strong Renichiro stepped in front. He kicked the giant bear using the famous Ryuba technique. I imitated his moves. I used the same technique on the giant bear. We quickly reached the crack in the camera frame. To my surprise, it was an arena. A series of roars echoed down from the sky. Then, a massive creature suddenly appeared before everyone. This truly startled us. The blind minotaur was in a hurry. Little Bao stepped forward slowly. It seemed that it didn't affect him at all. The supreme alchemy, the transmutation of gold. Then, we saw beneath the minotaur's feet, a golden formation has appeared. A long hair formed from condensed golden liquid bursts out from the ground. It shoots up towards the minotaur. Faced with a strong enemy, we must use all our strength to unleash a thunderous strike. We cannot allow the battle to turn into a prolonged struggle. After Rinichiro understood his intentions, they were preparing to unleash their strongest strike. However, only I, standing behind them, could see clearly that their attacks had no effect. Yen Ikura was clearly stunned by this. Sure enough, the Minotaur raised its giant axe. Completely unexpected, the destructive power of its attack was immense. Even more shocking is that after the recent attack, the opponent is completely unharmed. At this moment, the alchemist Jekyll stepped forward, praising Princess Cece's genius. At her current age, to have achieved such supreme speed and accuracy, if it were a normal boss, they would have no chance to fight back against her attacks. But now... We are facing monsters with 100% physical resistance. At the same time, the Minotaur launched an attack. It swung its massive axe multiple times. The two of us, who couldn't use magic, had to retreat and look for opportunities. I quickly moved beside Xiao Gongyan. Let's see what true alchemy really is. Kaika borrowed my body to form a mass of mercury. In the next second, the mercury shot out like a sharp sword, instantly attaching itself to the Minotaur. Akane watched in shock. Why do I have the same alchemy as him? But I simply said, You've stepped into the misunderstanding and prejudice of alchemy. Matter exists in three states. Each state should be used according to the situation. As soon as the words were spoken, boiling mercury spurted from the minotaur's seven orifices. The intense heat from the mercury forced the two to retreat. This situation completely overturned their understanding. I can actually control the mercury's temperature so skillfully. The physical attack surprisingly produced a magical effect. Because high temperature is not a physical attack, it caused fatal damage to the minotaur. The gigantic minotaur was actually scalded and knocked down by the high temperature. Wang Jiji recorded this scene. The level 3 prophecy was successfully stopped. The task of defeating the Minotaur and saving the citizens was completed. Zai Gongxian is full of doubt about me. During the battle with Yenilong, I clearly used martial arts. Now I'm using the same alchemy as myself. Seeing me acting so proud, she couldn't help but get annoyed. But in the end, she acknowledged my strength. Then we returned to the real world from the rift. The uncle just now expressed his gratitude for this. He thanked us for the badges on our chests. They have long guessed our identities. Meanwhile, a red glow appeared in a certain village. A huge character for magic. 
hovers over the village. After we returned to the prophecy team, we received a new mission. In the third research room, Mayor Li Yuan is explaining the prophecy mission. Su Fang's bright red hair was particularly eye-catching. She is the one in the middle of the four spectators. Her arrogant demeanor made Xiao Gongqing very upset. From the mayor of Sanyuan, I learned that the analysis department has determined that this charcoal-like object in front of us is actually a book of fables. It was found near a volcano, which is why its surface burned by intense flames. To this day, the content of the book cannot be fully deciphered. Using the latest AI technology, successfully decoded part of the prophecy. It even reached a national level of design. This is a completely new prophecy. In the databases of various countries, no related information was found. Su Fang confirmed that the investigation would be conducted by the four of us rookies. Mr. Takihara explained that the other full members were handling other tasks. At the moment, only the four of us and the team could carry badges. Thus, Su Fang confidently accepted the task. A special mission of unknown rank. I can't help but feel a little nervous. But our goal is to investigate the prophecy, not to prevent the disaster from happening. Only little Gong Qian is holding on without resting. But the next second, he falls asleep. When he wakes up, he finds the car empty. He can't help but complain that the three of them didn't wake him up. But at this point, we have long been captivated by the scene before us. A huge magical town has enveloped the entire village. The situation is worse than we predicted. The prophecy has begun to come true. The 23 crystal pillars before us refer to the 23 villagers mentioned in the official report. They disappeared 30 years ago from the Gashan apartments. The fable is similar. That event nearly opened a wormhole to the subdimension. Suddenly, the crystal pillar began to glow red. The prophecy hadn't stopped. Su Fang drew the blade from his back, which meant he was going to stop this prophecy. Xiao Gongxi wanted to say something, but ignored Mayor Li Yuan's orders. Before she could finish, the three of them felt a surge of immense power. They saw magical energy radiating from my body. I demonstrated my stance with my actions. Then Benichiro noticed that my power was even stronger than it was in the morning, so it just calmly said, don't become a burden. After saying that, he jumped off the cliff. We immediately followed and leaped after him. Looking at the scene before him, the ancestor's soul in the void couldn't help but feel nostalgic. However, Li Gui sensed a trace of something unusual. A strange technique. A grave under the moonlight began to glow red. A giant hand broke through the earth. One thousand years ago, a sorcerer, also an awakener, committed a massive killing spree. He was finally defeated by an Anmyoji. Wounded, he fled to a village. He then used his blood to cast a blood demon array. A thousand years later, the magic array would devour all life within it as a sacrifice, and he would rule over this world. At that moment, a figure appeared in the moonlit sky. Prophecy report. Bandong clenched his fist at the rank position of the competition. He felt the power in his hand, but he seemed unsatisfied with that level of power. Meanwhile, our attacks came one after another. He formed a seal with one hand. Our combined attacks were blocked by an invisible force, soaring into the sky with a burst of fiery energy. The nuclear core knowledge collapses in an instant. Although it did not cause fatal damage to the opponent, it has already exceeded our expectations. In just one round, such powerful energy has erupted. At this moment, a magical array appeared at their landing point. The father of necromancy. Countless arms intertwined, binding them tightly. They couldn't even use their skills. All they saw was a sinister grin. To him, we were mere sacrifices. I swung my blade at him. But he dodged to the side. The continuous attacks are still being dodged by the opponent. They also cast magic under my feet. The opponent looks up at the sky, somewhat surprised. I actually dodged their magic attack. I see golden lightning gathering at my fingertips. Then, a column of lightning shoots towards the opponent. However, it is blocked by their single finger. A look of shock inevitably appears on my face. His charged attack was unexpectedly easily resolved by the opponent. At this moment, Sufan quickly moved to his side. Skill, gold chalice, the sword in his hand, transformed into several blades of spiritual energy. However, the opponent deftly dodged it. Yet Su Fang seemed to have anticipated this. He didn't believe such an attack would be effective. Able to defeat the opponent, he gripped the blade with both hands, pointing downward. Countless blades rained down from the sky, but the opponent easily deflected them. Then, taking charge, he launched a fierce attack on Su Fang. Su Fang hurriedly blocked in advance. After the clash, Banda also knows that the young man before us is the strongest among us, and I too feel an unprecedented pressure. The opponent has strength close to that of Mr. Ihara. Yanikiro and the others gave it their all, and finally broke free from the restraints. They hurriedly rushed to assist Su. However, the opponent simply swung backward with one hand. In front of them, peered three magical vortices in red, yellow, and green. The opponent had actually summoned three Haigu familiars. The strong Yenichiro didn't stop for a moment. The strength of the familiars in front of him exceeded his expectations. They had the same strength as the blind Minotaur. This means we're facing three S. Super super urgent bosses. A green skull stood in front of me, but there was not a trace of fear in my eyes. On the other side, Su Fang was trading blows with Bando. Bando mocked Su Fang for not receiving any support. Yet in the next moment, he was slashed, 
leaving a wound, Su Fang calmly said. I don't need any assistance. The only one I can rely on is myself. The more Su Fang is like this, Bando becomes even more frenzied. By devouring the opponent like this, he can strengthen his own power. Su Fang clearly sensed the opponent's speed increasing. At this moment, I broke free from the green skull's grip. Bando was a bit surprised at my appearance. Only then did he notice Kaiga City's Kamisama Saint, whose half-body was still providing support. Before he could react, he was punched in the face. The force of the blows sent him flying several meters. Su Fang didn't expect this either. The newcomer she looked down on was actually the first to knock down the world god. Let's join forces to take him down. But Bando just looked at us with a grin. Su Fang actually rejected my suggestion, indicating that no one else is needed to join the fight. This really caught me by surprise. Suddenly, Bando's attack came straight at me. Both his hands gathered black energy. In an instant, So cut off his arm, deflecting the attack. But I couldn't dodge and was enveloped by the energy. Demonic art, flash break. Sadako was thrown into the air and only stopped when she hit a tree trunk, breaking it in half. However, Bando's attack didn't stop. The severed arm reattached itself automatically. His other hand swung the knife at So. At that moment, Li Gui and the others appeared before me. In the instant I lost consciousness, I also instinctively entered the void space. But the pain in her body did not lessen at all. Under Li Gui's reminder, the battle outside looked grim. Su Fang could only cope with exhaustion, desperately defending herself. Faced with Bandong's attacks, her hands trembled uncontrollably. In the next moment, the opponent actually severed Su Fang's hand. At the same time, he hurriedly took out another sword from the space. He aimed for Bandong's vital point, but his opponent dodged with a swift movement. Compared to the sorcerer, the strength of the two was vastly different. Even if Su Fang is the strongest among us, he can only struggle to hold on. When Bandong was revived, he was just a smear of blood. The lives of 23 villagers. If the competition technology is unleashed in densely populated cities, then he will truly reign like a demon king. He will devour more lives, enhancing his own power. The wardrobe indicates it will lend my body to them, so they can crush the board. However, I flatly refused. This response left them somewhat incredulous. I knew that if I borrowed their power, I wouldn't achieve the goal of my training. After becoming a hunter, danger would follow. The restoration incident is one example. So, I must defeat the opponent using only my own strength. The strong Li Gui no longer stops me. Let me fight using the skills I've learned. Immediately, I charged forward. At this moment, Bandong's attack speed became faster and faster. Su Fang could only passively block. The opponent executed a knife hand upward strike. He leaped up in response. With both hands gripping the sword, he descended from the sky. Suddenly, Black energy gathered again in Bando's hand. In an instant, he knocked his sword away. In the nick of time, I caught the falling sword in midair. Let me borrow your sword. Using the momentum, I leapt back into the air. Energy surged from Bando's hand and shot out explosively. At this moment, I hold the sword with both hands. The one sword style slashes through the waves and breaks the ground. My sword energy cleaves through the opponent's power. The opponent's eyes reveal disbelief. I will be the man who surpasses my ancestors. It seems powerful, but it merely severed the opponent's arm. It is not enough to cause a fatal injury. The next second, it grew back again. Although, Li and Gui didn't think I could defeat the sorcerer, they weren't optimistic. But for me, Every brief moment of rest was a valuable training opportunity. Now, it makes them wait and see. I leaped in front of Bandong. He quickly raised his hands to defend. Even Su Fang didn't expect that I, a newcomer, would take the advantage. Then, countless blades rained down on Bandong. The blades left cuts on his hands. Seeing this scene, Su Fang felt increasingly unwilling to accept it. The newcomer she looked down on had skills that reached such a level. As I released my arrow, the opponent retreated creating distance. Countless energy balls floated in the void. With demonic magic lingering, the energy balls charged toward me as I sidestepped to avoid them. They locked onto me tightly. However, at this moment I stopped. Then I raised one foot and used the skill of round expansion. Formation. The giant rock that appeared blocked the energy balls completely, but the enemy's attacks did not stop, and I controlled the shattered stones to fly forward. Two streams of energy collided and exploded. Taking advantage of the dissipating smoke, I made my move. Light reflection. In an instant, I arrived behind my opponent. However, my sneak attack was surprisingly dodged by my opponent. I was even subjected to a magical array. A surge of energy shot into the sky. However, in the next second, I descended from the sky. Bandong's hand was cut again leaving another bloodstain. At this moment, he also noticed something strange. The combat skills I used were varied. Though proficient, they were not mastered, so they didn't pose much of a threat to him. But in the next second, his face showed disbelief. I had fused all the skills into one. This scene left Li Gui and the others utterly shocked. They never expected it. My growth rate is actually this fast. Bando's face turned gloomy. A burst of red light shot into the sky. A giant horn actually pinned the servant god. That was battling with Komiya Asahi to the ground. The quiet tree skeleton merges. I feel like an ant in front of him. Bando stands atop the skull, 
Looking down, a giant hand reaches out to strike me, yet I remain motionless. Even now, using my power isn't enough. Reflecting on past training, Malaris's truth magic helps me set aside distractions. A kneel. In the moment when the soft yet firm single-handed sword technique strikes the gray. Forget all confusion and fear. The hands casting the spell grip the sword hilt tightly. Magic and swordsmanship merge. A tremendous energy envelopes. In the next second, it strikes at the opponent. The massive skeleton splits in two. I actually created my own skill. I claimed to split the giant sea bone of my opponent in two, and the body was also severed in half. This scene completely shocked Liga and the others. They never expected that I would actually fuse swordsmanship and magic. I created a new skill. The alchemist Kickle was overjoyed. Everything I showed was just as he expected. What's unique about me? is that I can freely switch between skills. If I could use two or more skills at the same time, there would be countless possibilities. Hearing this, the two of them broke into a cold sweat. They had completely underestimated my talent. Given time, I will reach an unprecedented height. At this moment, the remaining half of Bando's body began to react. His blood started bubbling as if boiling. Moments later, his body regenerated. Bando's face was full of rage. A headshot would surely kill him. However, the next second, a sharp blade sliced through his neck. Before he could react, he reached out and separated us. In the heat of battle, Su Fang delivered the final blow. Even Bando didn't expect to be ambushed by the boy behind him. Su Fang took hold of my fallen body. The scene before him reminded Bando of his own past. A cold and hungry night 1000 years ago. His own brother also died in his arms. However, the bridge was bustling with cherry blossoms in full bloom. A stark contrast to the scene beneath it. Couldn't understand the courtly world. Being alone is carefree, but also very lonely. It seemed as if these words were meant for Su. Then they drifted away into the air. However, Su Fang believes that even one person should not be treated this way. Suddenly, a crack appeared in the barrier in the moonlit sky. The energy of the barrier was enough to swallow the entire village. If the barrier collapses inward, they would not be able to withstand such a powerful force. To avoid being consumed by the energy, they could only act at the moment it collapsed. Using my skills to minimize the impact, even in my unconscious state, I raised my sword with one hand. Su Fang looked at me. Puzzled, why am I still aware when I should be passed out? Li Gui took over my body while I was unconscious. He will handle this final crisis. At the moment the barrier collapsed, a surge of immense energy shot into the sky. The force of the devouring magic barrier was instantly torn apart. And this scene was just seen by the team members who rushed to support. The leader of the prophecy team, Su Qing, was very curious about who had used this forbidden technique. Not long ago, due to the official members of the prophecy team being on a mission, the four of us had to take over the scorching technique. A prophecy a task with an unknown prophecy level, almost led to the annihilation of the entire team. On the other side, the councilman faced a super-level task alone, while Captain Su was dealing with a level 1 prophecy task. At the same time, what he didn't expect was, the evaluation of 11 yuan is surprisingly high for me. I am the one who terminates all prophecies. This 11 yuan has arrived at the land of prophecy, the sun missing from the super prophecy. However, the counselor skillfully uses the spiral skill, divine whirlwind, with a laugh, he crushes the boss and resolves the crisis, waiting for Su Cheng. When people feel the scorching heat of the land of prophecy, I happen to witness the scene of us breaking the barrier. He is even more curious about who exactly used such powerful insight. I fell into a coma due to physical exhaustion. When I woke up again, I was already lying in a hospital bed. Su Fang is full of doubts about my identity. As for Yen Long and Xiao Gongxi, they are aware of their failure in this combat mission. It basically has no effect at all. Then I went to the rehearsal room early to train. But Su Fang kept chasing after me. I displayed overwhelming power during the mission. In two days I broke through the hidden level 3 and level 1 prophecy tasks. A variety of skills emerged one after another. Especially the final fusion agent. This is something he cannot touch at the moment. As a fellow team member, he is very unwilling and questions me about who he he is. Suddenly, the curtain was drawn open. Su Qing's appearance surprised both of us. Su Fang even called him Big Brother. However, he ignored her completely and walked straight towards me. Without a word, he swung his sword without hesitation. It was my body's instinctive reaction. I dodged the attack with lightning speed. What exactly is his goal? He didn't expect it either. A rookie could actually dodge his strike. Then he calmly said, qualified. After that, Su Chinkai introduced himself. Given my outstanding performance in previous battles, I temporarily joined his team. Hearing this, Su Fang's expression darkened. She couldn't believe she was outdone by a mere wish. For years, she had never received her brother's approval. Yet, I had earned his recognition in just two days of joining the team, and even joined his squad. Blood seeped from the clenched fist. An unconcealable look of frustration appeared on the face. Inside the acting arena, Xiao Gong and Xian are facing off. Mercury spears used for alchemy training are everywhere. In the prophecy of the Book of Flames, they're mostly being restrained. They can't even compare to me. The comments are hard to accept. 
I can't believe I lost to new competitors. At this moment, the counselor appears before them after completing the task. However, the two are not interested in these local specialties at all. They only hope the counselor can train them. They are unwilling to accept losing to me like this. The counselor seems somewhat puzzled by this. The two of them. The desire for power is completely different from before. I can't help but wonder who ignited them. A figure appeared at the door. Even the self-righteous Su Fang made a request. On the other side, Su Cheng's arrival seems to signal a more severe prophecy. After I temporarily joined Su Cheng's team, it seems like the brothers are at odds. The relationship between the brothers seems to have a hidden story. Su Fang glanced at his older brother. He still harbored resentment. Cheng, however, couldn't bear to look directly because the scar was too obvious. One wanted to defeat the other, while the other held the other in high regard. Yenichiro learned from Su Fang's words. After I joined the frontline team, I dedicated myself fully to training. Su Fang was even more obsessed. Team Su Ching was officially given the title of the strongest. As for the captain, Su Ching accounted for 90% of the team. At this moment, they were heading towards the land of prophecy. Level 1 Prophecy global freeze. The scale of the disaster is increasing exponentially. Seventeen countries worldwide have experienced varying degrees of unrest. One of the members of the Jun Shan Zunsa team is still communicating with him while I send a message. He can't help but feel somewhat displeased. I can only explain that I'm in contact with my teammates. I am coordinating with the other teachers to propose training suggestions for Su Fang's group. First is Princess Chika. Upon receiving it, she cursed. What the hell is this? Yenichiro didn't show much expression, but Su Fang's face turned grim. The congressman was very curious about the information. It turned out to be everyone's training plan. The counselors couldn't help but feel alarmed. It surprisingly aligned with everyone's habits. They proposed specific suggestions. Stimulated by this incident, everyone directly viewed me as the enemy. I regretted providing these training suggestions. At this moment, we arrived at the land of fables to prevent the battle from coming to the village. I chose to make an emergency landing in the battle with the board member. I ultimately relied on Li Gei's strength, and this time, I fought alongside the formal team members. It was my first opportunity for real combat. I had to rely on my own strength to complete the mission. However, this mission became an unforgettable setback in my life. Awakeners are relatively sensitive to temperature. It's now reached minus 37 degrees. I learned from Junyama that this mission was not recorded in the Book of Prophecies. It was predicted by an Awakener with foresight ability. This is also the first time such a prophecy has been categorized as an episode, and Junyama's skill is similar to radar detection. At this moment, he detected enemies approaching. Suddenly, the vice-captain vanished from my side. In the next second, he appeared beside Su Qing. His ability must be teleportation. In front, ice-clad gels have appeared. Approximately 30 units. Preliminary assessment, Class S. Urgent. 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 At Su Cheng's command, everyone charged forward. Various skills relentlessly bombard the ice beast. This scene truly shocked me. The teamwork among the official members is incredibly seamless. After receiving Captain Su's signal, I joined the battle as well. I leapt into the air and struck the enemy's head with a spiritual attack. The next moment, the ice beast shattered to pieces. A soldier beast dodged all the attacks. It charged towards me. A fire blade whistled past. The opponent was instantly severed in half. Jun Shan looked back at me in surprise. The flame sword vowed to slay. Then several sword sounds came. Su Ching struck with just one hit. Just eliminate the remaining beast soldiers. At night, we set up camp inside an ice cave. Under the radar detection of Jun Shan, there are no wild beasts within a 10 kilometer range. I am pondering by the campfire. The fusion agent is about the fusion of sword techniques and magic used by Ban o. Could his skills be based on the same principle? Just as I was about to succeed, Su Cheng, the ghost girl, appeared behind me, scaring me so much my heart almost jumped out. It interrupted my spell casting. During our conversation I learned that Captain Su Ching also has a friendly side, but she also guessed whether I had some unknown training methods. The appearance of Team Fu broke the awkward situation. However, what we didn't expect was that not far away, there appeared an awakener, holding the Book of Prophecies. They came here to make the prophecies of this place come true. The next day, Su Qin gathered the team to find the prophecy boss, and the initial assessment of killing Ding Zhu's bluebird is s. Urgent, urgent, urgent. But in front of the squad, it didn't cause any waves. They were taken down in an instant. Watching the scene unfold, the ancestors within felt this mission was relatively easy. However, God Hand Gouting believed there were seven flaws. I feel inexplicably anxious. Sure enough, I discovered an even greater energy fluctuation nearby. Suddenly, the ground shook without warning. A four-armed giant charged towards them. The prophesied mysterious Karus. An unknown level boss has appeared. This signifies the official beginning of the prophecy war. Jun Shan used golden light to bind his four limbs. Fu struck at his ankles. Another member attacked with fire magic. For a moment, the opponent was unable to counterattack. However, despite the combo, the opponent did not get injured as expected. Not even a single scratch appeared. At this moment, 
I leaped above the opponent. In the moment of swinging my sword, I forget all confusion and fear. My strongest strike claims to cut down. I see the opponent raise their hand to block. I watch the scene before me in disbelief. The strike I take pride in has no effect at all. And the blow from the opponent, I can only desperately defend against. The opponent's strength is on a completely different level. If it weren't for the ice pillars blocking part of the attacks, he would undoubtedly be dead. At this point, everyone quickly stepped back. This situation was beyond what they could handle. Captain Su Ching stood in front of the opponent. He watched as the opponent raised the knife to strike. He remained unflinching, using the gradually blocking attacks. As the dust settled, the opponent's giant blade suddenly trembled. Then he calmly said, Indeed, quite strong. Immediately after, the opponent's blade attacked again, but he easily deflected it. With a single strike, he severed the opponent's arm along with the weapon. Even Li Gui had to praise his strength. Su Qing initially planned to use the opponent to help his team gain combat experience, but now he has no choice but to defeat him himself. Seeing this, everyone quickly deployed a protective shield. Suddenly, behind Su Qing, a massive flame surged into the sky. The Crimson Glory God Emperor's red light flashed, and a gigantic blade of flame slashed towards the opponent. In an instant, the opponent's body was split in two. I revealed an expression of disbelief, both wielding the sword of flames. Captain Su Cheng's power was clearly stronger than my own. I thought that with Captain Su Cheng's final arrow, the prophecy battle would come to an end. Just as everyone was cheering, Captain Su Cheng's left arm suddenly broke. At the same time, Junchen's body was pierced by a hollow. It happened without warning. Then everyone began to experience similar situations. Our bodies were inexplicably frozen through, and I could only watch helplessly as all of this happened. My teammates fell to the ground one after another. Another. The prophecy squad was nearly wiped out. Captain Su Cheng's hands were both severed, and I could only watch helplessly as my teammates fell one after another, thinking that under Captain Su Cheng's overwhelming strength, the mission would be completed. But unexpectedly, a new wave of attacks came. At the critical moment, Jun Shan pushed me aside, but his body was pierced by two new wounds. But there were no potential enemies detected within the range. Jun Shan helplessly reached out to him. If it were the captain, he should be able to locate the enemy's position. Su Qing could only watch all of this with anger. Then a team member was attacked again. Su Qing told them to find cover. I stood there, blank-eyed, in a daze. He crouched down thinking about the scene. The opponent's attack could pierce through even the shield. It could make anything it touched disappear instantly. At the same time, he realized that the point where his arm was severed, and the spot where the fungus was frozen through the mountain's body formed a straight line. In that instant, he understood the general direction of the attack. Then it shot off in that direction. At this moment, the giant Karus began regenerating, but I still knelt there. Unable to accept what was in front of me, the Lanta's name kept slipping from my lips. Anyone, anyone at all, please revive the healer inside them. Even Valanta could do nothing. No one can bring the dead back to life. I called out the name of the soul within me, Fae Sashin, and said sorry to them. At the end of the Battle of Bando, I used Riga as power. I initially thought I could handle this mission alone. But in the end, I still reluctantly asked for help. Riga and the others understood my intention. Then it immediately attached to me. Meanwhile, Su Qing was thinking about how the opponent could avoid the radar detection at Koryama. The hiding spot must be beyond the 3 kilometer detection range. Normally, he suppressed his strength to train the team members, but now the fierce look in his eyes was no longer concealed. Very soon, they found the enemy hiding behind the obstacles. It was the mysterious man holding the Book of Prophecy. Remembering the faces of Jun Shan and the others, Su Qing became even more furious. He slashed forward with a flash of crimson lightning. However, the opponent seemed to have expected it. Several black spheres floated around him. The black spheres absorbed his attack like black holes. Su Cheng's eyes revealed disbelief. The opponent's goal was simply to fulfill the prophecy here. He launched another attack on Su Qing. In a critical moment, Su Cheng raised his sword, splashing chicken blood. He used the blood to block the opponent's view. In an instant, he flashed behind his opponent. He swung a blow at his neck. But in the next second, Su Cheng's face was full of disbelief. His own sword had actually broken. His body was even pierced by the opponent. The opponent had already predicted Su Cheng's attack. Beheading him was just basic technique, so he had floated two black hole spheres in advance to block the attack. Su Cheng, enduring immense pain, swung at him. However, the opponent dodged to the side. He even got kicked at the edge of the ruins, right on his wound. And Su Cheng was waiting for this moment, using the sword hilt to strike the opponent's chest. The next second, they flew out. At first, he kept releasing several black spheres. Then he stopped. The current attack is the same. So, the skill to eliminate targets can't be used indefinitely. Even if his skill's weakness is exposed, the opponent doesn't care at all. Because by now, Su Qing is already at his limit. But in the next second, Su Qing is suddenly engulfed in flames. The wounds start to stop bleeding under the intense heat. A powerful pressure surged toward the opponent. Su Qing was burning his life force to unleash the Crimson Dragon God Emperor. Yet his opponent looked utterly confident. He believed his black hole could consume Su Qing's power. However, 
Su Qing healed endlessly, and his ability to regenerate caught the opponent off guard. Even if his body was split, he could restore it completely. He even held the legendary book of prophecies in his hand. Watching my teammates fall one by one, I screamed out to the ancestral spirits within me, my mind torn apart. They felt my rage. At that moment, Karuz, newly healed and reborn, attacked again. Only the vice captain was still fighting. It was impossible to defeat the enemy alone. Suddenly, a figure darted past in front of me. With just one strike, he shattered his opponent. The scene shocked both of them. Now I'll let my ancestors take control of my body. Meanwhile, Captain Su Ching was grappling with the stranger. Although Hun can dissolve any material he touches, he still had to dodge the rocket blade. Because the flames are special, the fire would regenerate after being pierced by the black sphere. At the same time, the opponent released two black balls towards Captain Su Ching. Captain Su Ching quickly sidestepped to avoid them. In the next second, he dodged and slashed at the opponent's arm. The tide of the battle began to turn. Even so, the opponent remained unfazed. He continued to attack Su Cheng's wound. This time, it made Su Qing roll his eyes in pain. The opponent wore a playful smile, just losing an arm, and the situation has reversed. In the moment of dodging the feint, the opponent knows that Captain Su Qing will definitely choose the optimal combat strategy. However, he had already predicted this. So, the combat efforts are all in vain. In the opponent's eyes, from the very beginning, Captain Su Qing and his team were doomed to fail. He pulled something out of his satchel. Captain Su Qing was shocked to see it. What the other party held was the Book of Doom. It recorded the prophecies of destruction. If there exists a group to thwart the prophecy, then there also exists an organization to fulfill it. The other party was indeed the twelve driving talents on the road to revelation. The messenger responsible for fulfilling this prophecy faced the disabled Su Qing. The opponent was already confident of victory. However, in the next moment, Su Qing struck back. Although he mitigated part of the attack, he still bore a bloody scar. After this blow, his body reached its limit. With all his strength, he unleashed the final strike, the Crimson Dragon Slash. The opponent still wore a smug expression. He took out an item. Then, a burst of golden light enveloped the two of them. Su Qing couldn't see the scene before him at all. In the next moment, the opponent actually punched him in the face. The ice pillar behind him shattered into several cracks. His eyes revealed disbelief. His body actually fully recovered. He was using an ancient relic. It completely healed his injuries. Ancient relics are remnants from the Tower Era. Because they contain great power, they are managed by the state. Ordinary organizations cannot use them freely. Captain Su Ching swung with all his might. But he was evaded by the opponent. A punch struck him. Then a whip kick hit the wound on his body. Su Ching fell powerless to the ground. But he didn't want to fail like this. The images of his teammates appeared in his mind. He was still thinking about sharing the cat he raised with his brother. Finally, he exhausted the last bit of strength to strike. However, in the next second, his arm was instantly pierced by the ice. The opponent didn't give him a chance to swing his sword at all. Su Ching collapsed to the ground as if all life had left him. Suddenly, an overwhelming aura surged forth. The giant ice pillar behind the opponent was split open. I caught the falling tears with my hand. At this moment, the soul within me was already raging with fury. Who has caused our disciples such grief? Tears welling in my eyes as I look at the scene before me. Captain Su Cheng, covered in scars, kneels in front of me. His hands are severed. Unable to contain my anger any longer, it erupts. The man senses something is off about me. Just as he prepares to unleash his skills, his arm is suddenly severed. He didn't even see my sword swing. The initial encounter also twisted under the unbearable pressure. The alchemist reminded him not to hesitate because of the weapon. The alchemy of the highest skill produced various weapons using mercury. Meanwhile, the man's severed arm miraculously regenerated. This scene took Li Gei by surprise. The magician also guessed that the other party used some kind of ancient relic that can automatically heal within a certain number of uses. Suddenly, a sword struck the other party's forehead. At this moment, with Majid's blessing, my swordsmanship became even more superb. But in an instant, the other party restored to their original state. The current strategy is to keep killing the other party, reduce the number of self-heals. The opponent fainted in front of me, but in the next second, they were still struck by Sword Master. As long as there's an opening, I can hit the target precisely. This level of skill is effortless for Margit. The opponent releases a black orb again. I sidestep with the circular movement to evade. In an instant, I appear in front of them. Their eyes were filled with anger toward each other. A leg sweep after getting close, followed by a palm strike. A barrage of attacks rained down, striking the opponent. The skill makes objects in a straight line disappear upon contact, so they could only aim at aligned points on the line. Once you understand the principle, you can easily avoid it. In the end, it became a series of kunchen like forms. The opponent turned into a shooting star and flew away. I don't even know how many times the opponent has died now. Su Qing noticed my unusual behavior. He realized that the one standing in front of him was not the real me. At that moment, I wasn't thinking about hiding my identity. The skill, life stasis, 
slowed his injuries and made them worse. Then he slowly spoke up. The ancestors we know have their souls residing in my body. Before he could react, he vanished. On the other side, Tao seemed to doubt his abilities. He was easily avoided. Just as he was preparing to continue fighting, a long spear pierced through his heart. Then it went straight through his body. He didn't even have time to think. But as long as the opponent has remaining chances to regenerate, they can keep reviving infinitely. Right after that, a foot stomped on the ground. How troublesome. I didn't expect the opponent to become shattered after that. He can still be revived. A brief moment of thought made him change his strategy. He charged towards Captain Su Ching. He must kill him before escaping. But in the next second, he froze in place. I was already sitting in front of Captain Su Ching, waiting for him. Your speed is too slow, Li Gei. With a wave of the broken sword possessed by him, the opponent was once again chopped into pieces, this time in his eyes, finally revealed the fear of death. His life was dedicated to fulfilling the prophecy, so he wasn't afraid of death. Yet at this moment, an immense fear arose within him. The fear of losing what he had regained emerged. His obsession with fulfilling the prophecy didn't make him give up. He took out a small vial of golden sand from his backpack. I hurriedly voiced my opinion, but I was still a step too late. The golden sand spilled out. The ancient relic, Crimson Prison, and his self. Healing and regeneration had reached its limit. Crimson Prison. Even using truth magic couldn't break it. At this moment, either side could defeat the other. Outside the cage, the other side felt the outcome was already decided. Suddenly, they felt a chill behind them. Captain Su Ching stood up, draining his life force. His eyes revealed a determination towards life and death, like a flower on the verge of withering. At this moment, he remembered his teacher, Mu Yowa. After three years of studying under his teacher, he took out an ancient weapon, because this weapon had been lost for a long time. Even his master couldn't do it. He only knew it was the sword technique of their ancestor Li Gui. But Su Ching still studied it diligently, aside from the lost one sword style. Up to this point, his master had taught him everything. But at this moment, Su Qing doesn't know how to become stronger in the future, and often sighs deeply, because he knows Su Qing is a one-in-a-million genius, who can try different techniques, and fight freely, like a bud yet to bloom. But as long as he's alive, it may be hard for him to blossom. After seeing the sword I just swung, it felt as if there was some insight into the lost art of 5G. What happened before my eyes lasted just a moment? Perhaps this is the only chance in a lifetime. I stood there, overwhelmed watching it all. Li Gui was expressionless at this moment, seemingly responding to it. Two bursts of energy shot into the sky. Suddenly, one of the actors on the other side was startled. He looked up and glanced into the distance. The magical energy around him exploded in an instant. The three of them had no idea what was happening. As the smoke cleared, a large hole was left in the wall. At this moment, Tao Urfa's fear spread within him. The opponent clearly no longer had hands. As a swordsman, he could no longer wield a sword. However, I can feel that the other person's sword can strike me hard. If a person is like a flower, this moment is the true bloom. At the peak of vitality, the physical body reaches its ultimate power. The truth of magic is within reach for him in this very moment. I find it hard to accept what is happening before my eyes. I see Su Ching take a deep breath. The past scenes are vividly in my mind, like a revolving lantern. That bud begins to slowly bloom. Su Ching slowly raises both hands, as if holding an invisible sword tightly in his hands. Then a sharp blade sweeps across the opponent's body. This sword pierced through the defense of the darkness. The opponent's body instantly split in two. Kneeling, he slowly said, You did well. Before, Su Ching stood beneath the dark clouds. At this moment, he felt as if he were standing above the clouds. He felt the joy brought by this moment. His own path could also reach this level. Family and friends become teammates as partners, running forward relentlessly to become stronger. Now I have already reached the finish line. I feel sorry for the younger brother I always took care of. I hope he can forgive this brother. At this moment, I walked up to him. Su Ching was first taken aback. Then he felt relieved. Death is not the end. It now needs to be entrusted to the new generation. In that fleeting moment, through the void marking space. I connected with Captain Su Cheng's soul, but I collapsed to the ground from exhaustion, tears in my eyes, powerless on the floor. Mr. Congressman finally arrived here. He helped up the fallen captain of the Sioux City team. He thought of the moments spent with his brother. In his heart, it seemed there were no regrets. One of the twelve zodiac histories of the Enlightenment Road, Cato. A new book of prophecies has emerged. Mr. Congressman beheaded five people in a row. Yuan's face darkened. Only two people from the squad survived. But in his view, Captain Su Ching has fulfilled his duties. He himself may not even be able to reach this level. In the face of Su Ching's departure, Mr. Congressman was heartbroken. On the other side, in my virtual imprint space, the sky was originally clear, but this matter turned it pitch dark. Because, it was my own weakness that led to this situation. I've become confused about what I should stick to. I'm not suited for battle. If I had let the ancestors handle it from the start, things wouldn't have turned out like this. As a vessel, all I needed was to train my body. But just now, with Captain Su, the moment of soul connection, he entrusted something to me. I still feel a burning heat in my hands. I don't want to waste this trust. 
Perhaps I can't surpass my ancestors, but I must surpass every moment. No one wants to see someone lose because of this. The counselor looked gloomy on the way back, thinking only about acting alone. During the call, after confirming the enemy was moving along Revelation Road 12, the hunt began. One month later, Wan Yu was fighting Su Fang in the mountains, training in martial arts and machines. The opponent quickly crossed their arms to block. A powerful force stirred up waves in the river behind him. Then the opponent came at me with a knife strike. I grabbed his wrist tightly. To my surprise, he used that momentum to break free from from Grandmaster Wang's divine grip. Just as I was about to continue my attack, a voice stopped us. It was none other than Captain Su Cheng's teacher, Mu Ihua. After the last prophecy battle, the Su Qing team has disbanded, and Su Fang stood still at the funeral. When they met again, he saw him holding a cat and carrying a book and diary. It turns out he knew nothing about his brother until he discovered it while sorting through his brother's belongings from the diary. Su Qing always kept an eye on his younger brother. He was constantly paying attention to him, starting from the team entry assessment to every single mission. He clearly documented everything in his diary. Yet, his younger brother knew nothing about him. I also relayed Captain Su Qing's words that night to Su Fang. His younger brother is his truest self. Later, in order to become stronger, he found Captain Su's mentor, hoping to receive training guidance. Suddenly, a surge of energy shot skyward, and he looked at us with excitement. Faced with our joint attack, he easily dodged. Meanwhile, on a street in London, England, Cato, one of the twelve from Revelation, the councilman who had been missing for a month finally appeared, his face grim. He revealed the whereabouts of other members and the base, otherwise death, but the other side did not falter. The councilman's gaze showed a flash of light. After a moment, he walked out. He handed the blood-stained book of prophecy to a strong man, then turned and left. At this point, five of the books of prophecy had been collected, and seven people remained. Originally, it was a single book, now divided into twelve volumes. On the surface, the counselors were killing enemies to collect the books of prophecy. But in reality, he couldn't bear Su Cheng's departure and kept acting on his own. But the headquarters did not seem to inquire further. At this moment, Dong Yun suggested forming a new team. With Captain Su Cheng's departure, the disbandment of his team created a need to fill the gap in the team. The second-level prophecy rebel, Prophecy Report, Little Wisdom Group, was under attack one after another. Endurance is gradually collapsing. I want to tell the captain in this moment. For this mission, Gong Qian joined his team as a temporary member. With supreme alchemy skills, massive mass of mercury flew towards the opponent. Upon contact, it instantly transformed into high-temperature gas. Then it turned into liquid, enveloping the opponent's body. The high-temperature mercury began to boil. Little Gong Xi clenched her fist tightly. The mercury transformed into sharp spikes again. They pierced through each other's bodies with their spikes. This scene shocked everyone present. In an instant, the enemy was completely annihilated. The captain had to praise Little Gong Xi's strength, toxic gas and high temperatures, choking physics. Four methods attack together. Although he's just a temporary member now, the captain is thinking of inviting him to join his squad. But Xiao Gong Qian didn't immediately agree. After the mission, Xiao Gong Qian immediately called me. Now he has fully mastered the content of Lesson 7, The Three States of Matter. Let me provide the content for the next class. I am quite surprised at how quickly the other person has improved. After confirming with Kira, I expressed that I would send him the content for the next class. On the other side, the Level 2 Prophecy Report shattered underfoot. At that moment, it was kicked apart. The attacker was Yen Long. Captain Xiaoya Lang of the early team praised him highly for this and invited him to join his squad. After a period of training, their strength improved rapidly, all thanks to my training manual. Suddenly, Xiao Gong Xi mentioned rumors about forming a new team to fill the vacancy left by Su Qing's team. A selection of team members forms a new squad. From among them, those with sharp eyes are chosen as the leader. I don't think much of this. It's just that this matter doesn't concern me much. Xiao Gong Qian mentioned a name for the team, the Kamikaze team. I thought this name was great, but after the reaction, I was instantly stunned. What are you talking about? The other party suddenly became serious. The prophetic forces are meant to eliminate this world of all prophetic disasters. But this is also his long-cherished wish to fulfill this wish. A leader is needed. There must be a strong will to lead the other members. That's why I was chosen. Xiao Gongqian's words left me in confusion. I kept repeating the words, Captain Nainan, in my mind. Teacher Mui Hua also noticed something was off with me. Su Fan next to me also thought I was more suited for the role of captain. Only I was troubled and unable to make up my mind. The ancestors in the void mark space watch the scene before them, but can't offer any better suggestions. As my master, he is also helpless. Li Gei suddenly thought of something. He turned around and shouted. Isn't this your specialty? Military ancestor Lian slowly began to speak. Now is not the time, and there are more suitable candidates on site. Li Gei was confused. Suddenly, 
A wooden sword pierced through the stone I made. Mu Yi was surprisingly walked across the water. Practice when you're feeling troubled. Let me spar with him to practice my steps. Then I jumped down as well. The ripples in the steps surprised Mu Yi a bit. I never expected I could stand on water. Even genius awakeners need half a year to reach such a state. I can't explain it either. I've practiced day and night in the void mark, and the time I spent is no less than others. Yet these others do not know this. Suddenly, the opponent swung an attack without warning. I quickly bent down to dodge. The massive rock behind me was sliced in half. Don't worry about anything unnecessary. Even if you don't like it, I'll make you focus. I could feel the pressure from my opponent. I had to take it seriously. At this moment, everyone finally understood what Lian meant by the suitable candidate. The modern legitimate heir of Mu Ihua, skillful and formidable. His sword technique can even produce lightning effects. Li Gei's eyes revealed disbelief. The struck stone experienced a violent reaction. It's because the opponent is serious. The sword energy unleashed by the skill hell's sword rushed towards me. I saw the sword energy transform into a sphere, enveloping him. The spot where I had just been was bent into a round pit. At the critical moment, I dodged the attack. The opponent was using a one-sword style, but it was different from my ancestor's sword energy. He even created a new type of sword energy. Are you considering? Can I become someone like Su Qing? Become a captain like that? I do not deny that. What I have seen and heard about Captain Su Qing, the strength he displays is beyond my reach. There was a hint of worry in my eyes. The teacher shouted. You don't have to become that kind of person. Skill, heavenly water dance. The sword marks displayed by the opponent once again refreshed my understanding. The teacher then said this is the current family leader, who created it based on the ancestor's sword marks. Although it cannot reach the height of the ancestors, even so, one must still put in the effort. Just to get a little closer, I don't know what kind of leader Su Qing is, but he really is a good captain. If you continue to hone your will, when we were in the imprint space, I immediately blurted out. Future Mu Hua. The teacher heard the satisfying answer. He was even more excited, training us for the future. It was clear he had a conclusion in mind. Two forces collided, and two weeks later, the candidate list for the new squad leader was formed. The list was recommended by the captain and director. My name was prominently on it. Recommended Agent Mu Hua. A shadow under the tree, three days later. The exam for the new team leader officially begins. The new prophecy team leader must be obtained at all costs. One of the twelve stars of Revelation A.I. Wa. After I decided to participate in the team leader candidate exam, no one expected. The history of Revelation infiltrated the prophecy organization. He is determined to succeed in the captain's exam three days later. His unique skill, Scorpion, can transform him into a member of the killing team wreaking havoc. Star history has caused them to panic, but they know. They can't possibly defeat a member alone. Infiltrating the prophecy organization is to dismantle them from within. Fulfilling the prophecy of the Book of Prophecies, the captain candidate assessment will take place in three days as scheduled. There are four tests in total. First place in each test earns three points, second place earns two points, and third place earns one point. The candidate with the highest overall score will become the new captain. The top leader of the prophecy organization is also paying close attention to this assessment. I never expected the assessment to be like this. It felt like there were countless eyes watching me from behind. It was Gu Xi from the convo. He thinks I'm one of the strange people brought back by the man. Asahina from Wu squad thinks I've only been in the squad for two months. How dare I dream of becoming the captain of the Yashima squad, Yuan Bai? In his eyes, I'm just a rookie. Shio Sui from from Jinbi squad. I never expected to be standing here after just two months. Elite stream team. The fact that I survived the level 1 prophecy is thought-provoking, and the person who recommended me was none other than teacher Miihua. Force team leader Shuya Yen seems to harbor dissatisfaction with me mentoring new recruits from the same batch. Finally, the lucky Koi team. He didn't expect it either. I am the teacher guiding Miyagi Saki. Everyone looks at me differently. No one could imagine. Eva from the Twelve Zodiac Knights is one of them. They all have captains accompanying them. But no one is behind me. On such an important day, Ms. Kazuha overslept. And she added some extra information. If I fail before he arrives, he will throw me into the volcano. Thinking about the training scenes, I couldn't help but break into a cold sweat. He would absolutely follow through on his words. Meanwhile, Ms. Kazuha hurried along. But beneath me is Su Fang. Incredibly smart Su Fang. She was actually tricked by teacher Mu Ihua into becoming a mount. Claiming this is a form of cultivation. The first magical power test shocked everyone. A tremendous surge of magical power erupted. Without a doubt, I became the first. In their eyes, I was just one of those anomalies. It means having an outstanding body. A super genius with abilities or magic power. And I am the type that focuses on magic power. The one beside me, Shini, is a different type. At this moment, I have obtained three points, 
one for the initial step and two for the assessment. The second round of assessment is unarmed combat. Feeding an opponent will earn two points. The first person in the world to apply for a duel chose me as the opponent. He claims to be the strongest in hand-to-hand -hand combat among official members. When he was two years old, he was caught in a rift filled with monsters. It was at that moment he awakened his powers. Moments later, there was a mountain of monster corpses beneath his stroller. So the captain thinks that recommending him to participate in the assessment is cheating. But the other party feels that it's not a problem to recommend and the strongest in the team. Everyone highly recognizes Shine's ability in hand-to-hand -hand combat. At this moment, Shinai is already eager to fight, feeling arrogant and confident. Yeni Long, a fellow genius. Even though I really want to say I'm just an intermediary, the real guidance comes from the teacher behind me. But it's impossible to say that. In the other person's eyes, Yeni Long kicked and shattered the greedy defiled being, with a face that is undoubtedly that of a super genius. I did not deny it skill of the abandoned. The opponent's body seemed to have undergone a slight change. The explosive power rushed toward me like a bolt of lightning. The opponent's claws were suddenly right in front of my eyes. I quickly crouched down to dodge. But in the next moment, the mountain behind me actually exploded. I didn't expect the opponent's attack to contain such immense power. Although the opponent's attacks are sharp, they're not unavoidable. Look for an opening while dodging. Grab the opponent's wrist. Kotoria Shijin. Twist their body with a reverse grip and throw them to the ground. The powerful shockwave instantly created a large crater. The onlookers had to quickly dodge out of the way, looking up at us in shock. Although I withdrew some of my power, its might still exceeded my expectations, and I acknowledged the power of Shernai. But the other party thought it was a mockery. 